Weight shift control 5-2 pre-flight and ground operations. Speaking of whims, the air stability resembles an artist's temperament. The rate of temperature drop with altitude determines this stability. Stable air, with gentle thermals, translates to less turbulence, while unstable air to the rhythm of stronger, turbulent thermals. Beware of highly unstable air, it can crescendo into thunderstorms, an aerial tempest no pilot wishes to confront. Barometric pressure adds another layer to our atmospheric canvas. Low pressure signals dynamic, unsettled weather, while high pressure brings calm, optimal flying conditions. Automated weather systems like ASOS, AWSS, and AWOS act as backstage passes to real-time weather data. Now, let's shift our focus to the local stage, wind, moisture, stability, and pressure. Pre-flight, pilots become investigative reporters, researching and documenting local conditions. High winds, moist instability, and low barometric pressure are red flags for flying. Conversely, light winds, dry stability, and high pressure are green lights. Don't forget the national airspace, check for temporary flight restrictions, TFRs, to avoid airspace surprises. Clouds, those visual narrators, offer crucial cues. Understanding diverse cloud formations and adhering to cloud clearance requirements in each airspace class is paramount. Mechanical turbulence is akin to a concealed orchestra. Objects create turbulence on their lee side, amplified by the wind. This turbulence can reach up to 10 times the height of the object. It's a symphony where the stronger the wind, the more pronounced the turbulence. In this symphony of flight, regulations and manufacturer recommendations act as the score, but every pilot must compose their personal minimums. Wind limitations, time of day, and temperature dew point spreads become the notes of experience, evolving as a pilot gains mastery. Before each flight, meticulous consideration must be given to weight and loading. Straying beyond the maximum gross weight, as outlined in the pilot's operating handbook, PO, is a non-negotiable. While the balance of pilot, passenger, fuel, and baggage is typically straightforward, certain makes, models might introduce balance limitations, necessitating a detailed review of the PO. The fore and aft carriage attachment to the wing hangpoint must adhere to the specified limits for weight and loading, meticulously outlined in the PO. Always adhere to the PO performance limitations. For optimal protection, it's advisable to house the weight shift control aircraft in an enclosed hangar. However, trailers can serve as viable alternatives for transporting, storing, and retrieving the weight shift control carriage. If the trailer proves spacious enough, the wing can snugly fit inside. Otherwise, it must be secured on top of a trailer, truck, or recreational vehicle. Enclosed trailers are the preferred choice, shielding the carriage from external elements like dust, rain, mud, road debris, and inquisitive passers-by. The carriage should fit snugly without coercion, be shielded against chafing, and securely fastened within the trailer. Use hard points on the carriage frame for securement, tying each wheel to prevent fore and aft movement during transport. Guides on the side of the wheels and wheel chocks further contribute to securing the carriage. Critical attention is required when transporting the wing to prevent wear and tear. Ample padding and three support points for the wing are essential during transport. Each support point should distribute equal pressure to avoid concentrated stress on any single point. The wing should be appropriately tied down at each attachment point, using wide straps for even pressure distribution. Upon completion of loading a short test drive followed by a stop is advisable to check for rubbing or chafing of components. Prior to embarking on the road, inspect the trailer tires, ensuring proper inflation and adequate tread. Confirm all lights are operational, lubricate the hitch, and ascertain the tow vehicle's attachment is rated for the trailer's weight. Functional brakes for both the tow vehicle and trailer are imperative. Caution should be exercised during unloading, preferably with two individuals due to the considerable weight of the wing. It may need to roll down an incline from the trailer to the ground. Attention must be paid to propeller clearance during transitions on and off ramps, especially with tail-heavy carriages. If transported in an open trailer, the carriage should be covered, and the propeller secured to prevent rotation or wind milling during transport. Imagine you're at an airfield, preparing to set up your weight shift control aircraft for flight. The first step is to find a suitable area, preferably sheltered from the wind. A grassy or paved spot works well, and if you're lucky, an enclosed hangar is ideal. Now, picture unzipping the wing bag with the zipper facing up, paying close attention to specific pads, their locations, and how they attach around the control frame corners. 
Assembling the triangular control frame without attaching wires to the nose is the next step. After that, carefully rotate the wing onto its control frame and place the front wires near the control bar. Remove the cover bag, roll it up and release the tie straps holding the leading edges together. Spread the wings slightly, removing pads from the wing keel and king post and neatly roll them into the cover bag for safekeeping. Now, picture raising the king post and spreading the wings as needed. Insert battens into their pockets, starting from the root and working out to the tip. Spread the wings as far as possible ensuring all wires are straight and not wrapped around anything. Tension the wing by pulling back on the crossbar tensioning cable and secure it to the back of the keel. If the keel doesn't extend, support the aft end to lift the tips off the ground. Moving forward, secure the front flying wires to the nose attachment. After an exhilarating flight in your weight shift control aircraft, it's time to carefully take down the wing. Find a suitable area, preferably in a large hangar or on grass, cement, or pavement, ensuring it's shielded from the wind. Align the wing perpendicular to the wind if you're outdoors. During the takedown, meticulous care is taken to avoid any cosmetic or structural damage. All protective pads must be correctly placed to prevent hardware from rubbing against the sail or frame during transport. The pilot's operating handbook is a valuable guide, specifying the exact locations for these pads. The process of taking down a weight shift control aircraft involves a reverse order of assembly. After detensioning the wing and removing battens, keeping right and left battens separate for easier sorting during the next assembly, carefully bring the wings towards the keel. Pull the sail material out and over the top of the leading edges, lower the king post, and pad it top and bottom. 